Hey guys, Brian here with another Clash of Clans video, and how are you guys doing today? Um, I'm going to be doing a subscriber-based review for you guys. Um, first, let me update you on my progress of farming. I did a lot of farming last night. I actually tried to make a farming video number three, but it ended up being too long. And I did get enough gold to afford an upgrade on my Archer Tower to level 8, which I believe was 720,000. Yes, and then I even have some gold left over. I'm working on this army camp upgrade, which I worked really, really hard for, uh, getting all that elixir. And I'm saving up my elixir for another one. I want to get those 220 troops ASAP. And what else, what else, what else? Oh, I got about 10 walls done, so that's about 5 million gold right there. My three Teslas have just finished, which are awesome. And I need to work on another upgrade for my wizard tower. Anyways, let's do a subscriber-based review right here. Um... I have a couple people who I've already selected beforehand to do this with. And maybe I'll add in a couple more. I think I'll do about five people. So let's go through and get some people. Um, I've done Eddie before. You guys have seen Eddie. So subscriber base number two. Where are they? All right, here we go. We're going to go with Smile. I think I believe I've done him before too. I love 48 base. So if you guys are near that level, this should be something that you're looking at. Or if it's good or bad or whatever you think. And we'll see what he's doing. Okay, so it looks like he's farming. He has his storages in the middle. Um, I don't really like the way he has his storages right here. If you're going to farm, at least put your storages near each other or separate them a little bit more so they can't get to them by just attacking this one side. I do like how he has his three mortars spread out. Um, he has two wizard's towers. I think he could maybe put a wizard tower right here instead and put a wizard tower up here so it's covering more of his base. It seems very bottom heavy this base and they, he could get to the storage as easy if people just attack from the top. Like put a lightning spell right on this level 5 mortar and it'll take out the wizard tower and the mortar. Um, but yeah, I definitely would recommend rearranging this base. Keep the mortars, just either decide what you're doing. If you're farming, you're farming. If not, you're not. I think he's farming because he's gone up and down in trophies a bunch so um, definitely would recommend a new farming base for you, for you, man. Just to just change that around if you can. And let me know what you guys think about this base in the, down below in the comments. And we're going to have a little contest. You guys decide which base you like the one, uh, best. Base 1, base 2, base 3. Don't base it off a level. Just base which one you think was the absolute best. Okay, let's see for more people. Um... Let's do a 42, st sticking around the same level. Not too high, not too low. Um, okay, so this this base, I like. I think he kind of rushed to Town Hall level 7. Don't worry, man. Shane, I did the same thing. But now's your chance to max it out. Um, stay here, start farming, and max max out all you can. Get these walls upgraded this Level three cannon, level two or level three mortar, and level two mortar needs to get upgraded ASAP. Focus on those wizards' tower; those are the two most important things. Um, I think his base is a little bit too spread out with the stuff on the outside. I think if you had like two hundred archers, you could get fifty percent by just putting archers all around the side by these trees and stuff, which I don't really like. I mean, if you're going for trophies, I guess that's okay, but it doesn't look like he is because all his storages are on the outside. So, I would give this base about, um, 6 out of 10. The other base I'd give about 5 out of 10. I, I think I like this one a little bit better, um, just because of how compartmentalized it is. I, I don't even know what that word is. Compartmentalized, it's like separated a bunch by, by these walls. Um, he's got his wizard's towers and mortars on the very inside, which I do like. I'll give him that. And he's got an air defense in the center just in case. So, 6 out of 10 for this base. This is base number 2. Uh, like down in the comments or write down in the comments if you like this one better and let's go to base number three the final base okay level 52 so this is going to be the highest base we're going to do today I am also going to do a little higher level one next time okay this is obvious this guy's farming um, his name is Dylan let's see so this guy's town hall over here he's got Okay, I like I like the way he did this right here because the giants are gonna go for that mortar. Um, I think he could move this spring trap down down here. That would do a little bit better. Or he could move those elixirs out a little bit and put them right in front of the cannon. 
Um, he has the storage in the middle, which is nice, nice, very good. And he's got a lot of stuff compartmentalized down here. I think he could move these walls right here a little bit because he's focusing a little bit on the town hall too. I think you got to pick and choose which one you're going to focus on, either the farming or the um, town hall, you know. So he's got all the storage in the middle. Three mortars, which is very, very smart. So the mortars can take out everything. If you get near there, you're pretty much um, done for. But, yeah, the only way I could possibly see attacking this base... Um, is putting three lightning spells right here and then go coming from up here, but he sees that so he's got the spring traps down But but yeah, I Think I like this one the best I give this one about an 8 out of 10 I think it just needs a little bit more work on the wall part of it But he is higher level so If you're up at this level, I'm sure you're gonna have a little bit better stuff than the other guys um, This has been base number three. I think I'm just gonna keep this uh base review to three today and you guys write down in the comments which ba ba which base you guys thought was the best I think I'm gonna go with base number hmm well this one scored the highest so I have to go with this one but if I had to put it on level of perspective I think number two would win for me so it's, it's pretty close but I like what this is got doing he's kinda rushed his town hall a little bit so that's why he got eight out of ten um, but I'm a hypocrite on that because I rushed my Town Hall 2, but I'm trying to catch up at Town Hall level 9 before Town Hall level 10 comes up. Um, so that that was the base review, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. Who you think was the best uh, and why. I want to know why, not just say, oh, three. Oh, this, oh, th this. Tell me why you thought they were the best. Uh, and I'm going to continue to do these, you guys. If you guys subscribe, um, I will get to you sometime if you're in my clan just let me know I'm gonna keep doing these base reviews every once a week or twice a week for the summer because I'm gonna be putting out a lot more videos um, you guys like comment subscribe and take it easy